But my main focus is the reconstructive aspects of shootings. What were you asked to do in this case? Well, a number of things to determine. Um, and, and, and let me let me stop you real quick. Were you asked to do reconstruction, or were you asked to do more examination and identification? Identification was a small part of what I did. I did do that with the evidence cartridge case, but primarily reconstruction. On this, in this case. That's correct. Okay. Um, and can you uh, give the jurors an idea of your background and experience, please? Yes. Most uh, criminalists, which is my uh, professional title, have a degree in one of the physical sciences. Mine is in chemistry with some minor in physics. Uh, that was obtained in 1963 from the University of California at Berkeley. I then went to California State College at Long Beach, taking two more years of study, which included two semesters of criminalistics. That course was taught by the primary firearms examiner for the city of Los Angeles. Other courses were mathematics, clinical chemistry, documents examination. That takes me to 1965 when I gained employment with the City of Phoenix Police Crime Laboratory as an entry-level criminalist. Um, I was sent on to Arizona State University, University for additional coursework. I started attending meetings of professional organizations that deal with firearms evidence because that became my main focus in the crime lab. Although I worked in all sections, I later supervised them. My real interest and passion was the ballistics or firearms unit of the laboratory. I left there, there being the City of Phoenix Crime Lab in uh, 1982, so I was there about 18 years. I'd been doing some private consulting, some teaching at that time. I was an instructor in criminalistics, which included firearms evidence. Um, I started my own company when I left the City of Phoenix. My company became my full-time employer, and I've been working there ever since. Sir, do you have any professional memberships? 